I mean, sometimes just put that question in your mind, and as you read through the Scriptures, just note the warnings. Note the warnings that are given to us. The Old Testament's filled with warnings about false prophets. In fact, I think it's Deuteronomy 13 where Moses warns the people before they go into the land of promise. He said, there are going to be prophets arise. They're going to do miraculous things, but they're going to teach wrongly, and it's going to be a, a test to see if you're going to stay true to what God's revealed when these guys come in the name of God and say things contrary to what God has actually revealed. The Scripture says that we face enemies as Christians. Those enemies can be categorized into three large areas. We have the enemy of our own sin that remains within us. We have the enemy of the world, which is the godless systems that are opposed to us. And then we have the enemies of the devil and all of his minions. And so we have inside enemies, we have enemies surrounding us, coming at us from all directions, and then we have enemies above us that are personal, that think, that strategize. And, and all of these enemies are designed to keep us from God, to keep us from making it safely home. In the Old Testament, we find the prophets warning God's people against being tripped up by the enemies arrayed against them. So, example, Jeremiah 9, 6 says that false teachers heap up oppression upon oppression and deceit upon deceit, and they refuse to know the Lord. These are false teachers, teachers that come in the name of the Lord, and yet who in reality are deceiving people. Their design is to, see, to deceive. In Jeremiah chapter 23, 16, the Lord says, Do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesy to you, filling you with vain hopes. They speak visions of their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. False prophets. People that would normally be expected for others to show some respect to them. They would expect you to listen to them. Jesus says in the Sermon on the Mount that we should beware because there will be false prophets that will arise and they will come among the flock as if they are sheep, but inwardly they're wolves. They have the clothing of sheep, which means a sheep must have died somewhere along the line if a wolf's got a sheep's clothing on. Psalms and Proverbs are filled with calls to be on our guard against those who would lead us away from God, especially those who come to us with smooth talk. And so we have warnings like in Psalm number 55 about the one whose words are smooth as butter, and yet he has swords on his tongue. He has evil in his heart. Paul warns against smooth talkers in Romans 16 where he writes, I appeal to you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught. We, we just talked about things that are contrary to what the Word of God says. And Paul says, watch out for people like this. He says, avoid them, for such persons do not serve our Lord Christ, but their own appetites, and, and listen to this, and by smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the hearts of the naive. So the warning is don't be naive. Don't be duped. Don't be taken in by those who are eloquent, who are able to say things and find rhetorical flourish and, and who are persuasive and charismatic and winsome. But we, we've got to stay true to the doctrine that we've been taught. Peter says in 1 Peter 5, 8, 8, that the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. So God's people are to be sober, sober-minded, watchful. We're to be on guard. Peter admonishes us in 2 Peter 3 to take care that you're not carried away with errors of lawless people and lose your own stability. I mean, why do we have these warnings in the Scripture unless there's danger. And the warnings are given to us to help get us safely home. And if we ignore the warnings or we downplay the warnings or we think we're beyond needing to be warned, then we're setting ourselves up to be tripped up in the very way the Scripture 
warns us not to be.